Hello, my friends, and welcome back to another Brood War ladder cast. We've got Bisu spawning down here in the bottom right and HBQ in the top right. The reason I wanted to cast this game today is because it's very highly rated by Dude Nerd. Comes from Seawall.gg from the ladder. And HBQ, a player that I haven't really looked at before, he's going to be featuring a lot in our upcoming series of China versus Korea. I want to get it idea of what this guy is looking like he is an amateur Terran player he's got a lot of appearances in some of these smaller tournaments like the China versus Korea tournament but he doesn't have any appearances in ASL or anything like that so I don't really have him on my radar right now I watched a couple of other games with him I watched one versus snow um and uh, some others but i didn't really feel like they were uh worth putting on the channel if i could put it that way i was like eh. they were interesting but not not crazy good so i'm gonna go into this one with an open mind we'll see how this this next one goes versus bisu uh if it's a nice game i'll throw it up on the channel before we start casting hbq uh, versus these Chinese players because yeah either way I'll know but maybe you guys won't know exactly who HBQ is with all that uh, out of the way I guess we've got HBQ dropping his factory everything looking nice and normal but a Nexus first just came out of Bisu so Bisu getting a little bit uh, greedy here he's gonna throw down perhaps a uh, second cannon or second gateway i was gonna say no no second gateway right into a forge so he's expecting maybe you know a big marine uh, number with a large scv pole and with one cannon you can absolutely shut that down now one thing that we've seen recently uh coming out of funnily enough flash is flash has been dealing with this by going instantly into tank he goes tank no vulture and gets siege mode right away and then pushes with bunkers and marines and he's been able to kill some pretty strong players with that but i haven't really seen it played by anybody else and looks like we're just gonna have a command center here for hbq that's the standard response just get the command center down as quickly as possible we're gonna take map control with the vulture middle of the map starport interesting okay that's something different He's going to throw an add-on on this, I think, and go for a drop. Try to drop the main. Anytime that there are cannons in the front, uh, in any matchup, it usually means that the main is not as well defended for the Protoss. They're cutting somewhere. So, if they're adding on a bunch of defenses at the front in the form of cannons, you can imagine that they probably have some lax defense elsewhere. Looks like the probe got picked off by that vulture. No scout going to come down for this starport. And he is going to get uh, mines right away. That's a little bit surprising. I thought maybe he would go speed. Because if you're going to go drop, getting in here with the drop ship and having speed finish, it can kill as many probes as possible is generally the right call. But I don't think that here it's going to affect too much. Like he can fly in, drop run in and start laying mines right here along uh, aside the gateways and then go after the probes that's also very very good so let's see how much damage this ends up doing that first dropship is on the way still just three zealots out here in the front second gateway finishes so we will have two dragons at least by the time this dropship comes in maybe even a third potentially Mines laid down all over in front, so he's not even gonna have mines when he f when he goes in, and he won't have speed either. I don't know. I feel like if you're gonna go for this, you might as well go all in. I'm just laying down random mines here. Get the get the speed rather than the mines, and just like try to hit as hard as possible. What are we doing? We're going for the natural. That's where all the defenses are. He flies into the main. Look at how open this is. Two goons are being transferred back there, but I just feel like it would be way stronger into the uh, 
the main base but here we go natural gets quite a few kills does kill off quite a few probes he's gonna pick up two the the two vultures that he actually oh wait 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 is he gonna drop this oh my god he only got one of these out well this did not go nearly as well as i thought it would not nearly as well but i got a few probes and i guess having the mines out in front now is actually gonna pay off pay some dividends uh, Bisu can't move out until this is done. The observer pops out now. It will start to move forward, but he's been slowed down a little bit. Just a tad. You can see that still a pretty significant worker lead here. Eight worker lead for Bisu. He can't get his third base just yet. It's been slowed down a little bit, but he's going to move forward and take that now. With no more delay. He has cannon in the main, so he's ready for... Uh, defending that a wraith gets built and the starport gonna fly home yeah just not as much damage as i was thinking this was gonna do these are handling it pretty well and i think uh hbq making an interesting choice in not getting speed or or and also dropping in the natural rather than the main not laying down mines like he could fly in like this fly right in and drop drop the vultures and suddenly lay mines right on top of all these gateways that would be pretty nasty and then you can fly down this way and come into the natural if you want but um i don't know he did the best that he could hbq he's not out of this game he's absolutely in it He's got some chances here, although he is 10 probes, 10 workers behind. There's always the chance that he could get to a maxed out. Hit a good timing attack, maybe a little bit earlier than that. Do something to actually win this game. Control center going to go down middle of the map. Observer's in here. He's seeing everything. He sees the five factory. Follow up and the spinning armory so he knows pretty much what's going on uh, we already have the starport so are we going to add a science facility early and get plus two really fast that could be strong uh, but it's not the typical style that we see out of terran players these days much more standard for them to just go straight into armor and work work their way over to a third base before ever thinking about getting uh plus two so hbq as an amateur a newer player he's hip he's hip to the newest strategies he should be um i think most likely just sticking with one one the bisu has his third he's cleared out bottom left as well add another pylon here and then that's going to be a full wall he hasn't done it just yet but he could he is going to put some cannons in as well has a double reaver at the front ready to stop any third base attempt four glass five glass are out so a good amount to deny the shuttle and these reavers they just finished their care on booster upgrades so anytime now we could see hbq start to move here he comes five factory i don't see a third cc where is that wraith there it is wraiths over here could bring that forward just start sniping the shuttle um start to create some chaos like just take that right click on the shuttle as you're moving out create chaos so that your opponent uh isn't completely you know able to just play their game just take the shots with the reaver like like do i pick up do i take a shot with the reaver i'm on a you know i'm on a time crunch suddenly they can make a mistake he's not gonna do that he's gonna leave the wraith over there try to push out normally uh down here towards the bottom center as he takes his third base i'm gonna try to slow that down as much as possible here bisu gonna lose his observers though and this is a great spot for that first tank it's a little bit hard to hold to take this base a little bit easier to take this one but as long as you got a couple tanks right there you can 
pretty much hit everything that's coming up this ramp. And see, Bisu wants to shove his way up here and do the best that he can to get up in that place. Oh, that mine hit a couple of these Goliaths, and the Goliaths are going down really quickly. The command center is going to get forced back. HBQ is likely going to end up losing this CC, and that's going to be almost lights out. Damn, that CC goes down quick. This is looking like a fighting spirit game right now. This is um, a game from my nightmares about uh, just a few years ago where the Protoss player just will not give up the high ground. Just keep on dropping more and more Reavers and running Dragoons up that ramp. So annoying. Now they can, he could even come into the natural too. Make it even worse for HBQ. I think he's just going to run over this. We've got four or five tanks on the low ground. Lots of Zelts getting up on top of this high ground. Once again, Dragoons here as well. We still have the Reaver. Um, these Dragoons are probably going to get taken out. Zelts trying to get down on top of this. Not the greatest uh, control uh, I've ever seen from Bisu, but there it is. Everything finally going to get pushed back. So surprised they didn't bring that Wraith in, but it is a little bit hard to deal with everything. We have no mines here either. A little bit scary to be um, taking this base. He's got to remake this command center. It's now 12 minute 23. And we have our command center just starting. That is rough. HBQ is going to have a really hard time taking this game down now. Some army heading around towards this natural. He's going to look for a location where the defenses are not quite set up. Here we go. Zealot drop bombs on top of these tanks. The Zealots are right on top of everything. And the tank splash is dealing a lot of damage. While well, he does target the dragoons with most of the tanks and on sieges after the dragoons are leave the range. So that was very good targeted fire by HBQ, but he's losing some stuff on the back end of this fight. A little bit painful. He's going to move to cover this third base now. Will he push south through the third base down towards the natural? That's kind of what it's looking like as he's setting up these missile turrets here in the front. Bisu completely sees this and he's going to rotate the reaver over here uh, to try and slow this down, but HBQ is looking kind of strong, pushing southward, and there's no other rally point set up for uh, Bisu just yet. So if he gets down to here, starts to hit the gateways, and then eventually crawls his way towards this natural, it's going to be really, really tough for uh, B Bisu to actually push him out of that position. Now, he sniped one of the, the Templar right before the fight, which is fantastic. Getting rid of some of that... Uh, splash damage before Bisu actually engages is amazing and he's actually getting rid of a lot of this nice storm dodge there as well that's a very good zealot gotta focus the tanks on the dragoons right now not to be hitting the vultures or the the zealots excuse me zealots gotta be hit by the vultures tanks have to be targeted on the dragoons and he does manage to hold this position for now we're gonna have to bring everything to the front though to make this attack work more zealots popping out here more templar can he get the snipes on the templar once again before the fight starts or are we finally going to see some big storms land on this army and push hbq out of this area very good slow methodical play from hbq slowly pushing his way down into this corner but bisu is just going to jump on top of the tank that's the only tank actually in range of his gateways right now as long as he picks that off he can buy himself some more time now he did trade out a big army or a big amount of army in order to make that clear happen now he's gonna even lose another dragoon the reaver was gone as well here's some templar coming up maybe he can get the templar uh, into position to storm now we've got a few marines in the mix you can see hbq pulling everything aside from his wraith to help deal with this Coming forward with the vultures. Got to snipe those right away. He snipes the vultures. This is big. We're going to be able to push down towards this base now. He's just in range of some of these um, gateways. And we've got a huge artosis pylon right there. Uh, holding up all of those four gateways. Like this one right here. If he kills this pylon, that's going to slow things down dramatically. Still getting some kills on a few of these Templar before they can get their storms out. There's one storm finally. I feel like we haven't seen any of this game yet. 
despite the fact that there's been so many Templar uh, fighting. He's actually pushing forward right now. I'm not sure I like this. There's not enough vultures in this army. There's a lot of zealots. Uh, maybe he can take the fight a little bit here. Kills two zealots before the engagement even happens. That's amazing. Three, four zealots maybe dying there before the full engagement occurs. That is awesome. He's finally going to run in and maybe draw some mines, but this is not nearly as good as it could have been. HBQ holding on nicely here, and now he's going to set up more tanks over by the gateways, start to hit stuff as it's popping out of the gateways, and start to hit the gateways themselves, which is very important. It's really uh, Bisu who's stuck on a time crunch. Nice snipe on that Templar. If he'd gotten the storm on these three tanks, I think all of them would have gone down. Great D Matrix there in the north tank as well. Keeping this one alive for an outstanding amount of time. And this is, it's all in right now for HBQ. He is just pushing for this natural. He's got nothing else going on in his mind. Everything's being rallied to the front. Just going straight through and he's sending forward a lot more units to try and break this position. He's killed two gateways so far, but more gateways are being added in the bottom left now. Bisu, is he gonna be able to crack this position? It's looking very strong. But we've seen him break dif more difficult positions before in the past. Great job unseaging there. Not going to take damage on these tanks. The vultures clearing out all of the zealots before they can get into position. Or draw enough fire to actually kill any of these tanks. And now, HBQ is looking to be in kind of a dominating position. This one dragoon was stopping him from expanding over there to 12 o'clock. He does need to rally. We can't allow this army to get overwhelmed. Rally, rally, rally. Okay, finally he is going to rally. He's going to float his CC to the middle, I think. The natural CC is going to be sent out to the middle of the map. He's going to start to mine from that middle area and just set down vulture mines over here to make sure that Abisu can't sh uh, stop him from mining in that center. But Beast is going to see everything. He's going to preemptively move his army uh, down through the south. Or the southern threshold, as uh, Shun would say. Before HBQ can completely secure the chokehold on the natural. Now he's actually coming back with some of his stuff. He's going to actually try to break this now. Oh my goodness. He's going to try and take this fight. This could go very well for Bisu, or it could go very, very bad. A lot of zealots on top of these tanks are killing off plenty of them, but at the same time, the vultures are going to be able to get in here, kill some of the Templar, and maybe massacre these uh, probes down at uh, just below the screen here. There we go. He's going to get on top of a lot of these. So many of these going down right now. This one barracks being a hero, keeping everything in vision. Over here in the main base. The center is now mining. But there's quite a bit of uh, army over on this side of the map for Bisu. I don't know. This is a tight game, guys. I'm really not sure what's going to happen. I feel like HBQ is in a winning spot. But I'm not sure that he can close the deal against Bisu. The supplies are very even. We're setting up more tanks in the middle now. Another base in the center left. Quite a lot of armies stuck in this base for Bisu. He's going to try to sneak some of that out. It's not like his rally is completely contained, but this one tank can keep hitting everything as it's coming down that, r that ramp. There's the shuttle. Looking for some damage. Not going to find it, though. Looks like he might have lost the Reaver just a moment ago. And this is looking good. HBQ is holding strong. Taking another base is not out of the question right now. But maybe he should instead try to push over here and contain this rally point. He's actually moving over towards the natural once again. Looking like he wants to contain the bottom right rally point, but he's leaving himself open to a counterattack. This army could come through the middle and actually shut down the one base uh, in the center. This, this dragon finally went down. He's going to set up a 
tank over here and likely set up a base soon. Beasts are going to try and break this one more time. Dude, he really is keen on breaking this base or breaking this containment. He's going to push into a very difficult position with so much defenses here from HBQ. This trade is not going the greatest, but he is breaking through slowly as the tanks uh, spread out here in the back start to deal their damage and the zealots dry up though that trade goes exceedingly well for HBQ near to the end and I think that that might have been Bisu's last hurrah man he just doesn't have much left the main base floats out over here to the fourth base this is great tear and play honestly HBQ really putting on a clinic here on how to play on retro slow push over to his third base taking that out and then pushing down to just cut off this natural taking the middle playing kind of a refugee terran style now he's gonna eat some damage it looks like with a dragoon that's kind of funny one dragoon drop is pretty hilarious right now i don't know what that's doing there very cute stuff from it uh, Bisu right now. He gets a kill with the dragon. That will fall. Plus two is finally done. Plus three is almost done, in fact. So not going into the latest ever upgrades, but he did delay that quite significantly in order to get this push to work. To be able to have enough muscle to actually break this position. Now, this is looking pretty flimsy. There's really not too much over here. But I think this has already done its job, right? This area holding this spot uh, it's not really that valuable anymore for hbq to hold that he still does need to defend this base so he needs something up on that high ground over there but i mean he's not like he doesn't need to hold this area he's gonna bring his army down to block bisu from making any further progress to shut down these templar and bring everything together to block this base from at least being taken out well, here we go. Might be able to run up there. No, he's going to back away. I don't know what this army is doing up on high ground. Kind of a funny looking position for that to be in, but... HBQ, good reactions. Baiting in a lot of this Protoss army as well. Mine's right on top of this. Pretty annoying. Not a lot of vultures in here either, so the Zealot Bombs are going to do very well. You can see the Zealot Bombs clearing out a lot of this. So many tanks going down right now. Great storm there. Getting pushed back right now. HPQ doesn't have that much in the center anymore. He pulled most of it over here to help defend. And has Bisu actually done it? He's getting very far ahead in supply. We have the 12 o'clock mining now. He's prevented top left from getting taken by Bisu, which is huge. So honestly, his position still looks good. The... You know, defensive position here, plus the defensive position in the middle is looking fine and dandy right now for HPQ, but his overall army supply is looking kind of weak. He's got a thousand minerals in the bank. He's trying to pump out some more vultures. It feels like he might have missed a macro round or something, thinking that he was closer to victory in this game than he actually was now. Zealot's being dropped on top of these tanks at the back line. He's taking out some of the few remaining tanks in this fight. Kind of ignoring the tanks on the left-hand side here in uh, favor of pushing over on the right. Going to bring the Zealots forward. Try to get on top of these tanks now. Can he actually get on top of this and start to finish these off? He's got some storms to help assist with this endeavor, but he casts them instead on the SCVs, mining minerals at the uh, center of the map. That CC does fall. CC does fall. That is a big moment here for... Bisu, who still has plenty of bases mining, right? He's got this, he's got this, he's got this. So many bases up and mining right now, whereas HBQ is soon going to be relegated to just this mining base. He is about to run out of money. And Bisu can continue to grow. He's actually taken over the middle of the map, which is pretty shocking. With the way this game was going, you'd think it would have almost been over in the favor of HBQ, but Beast has managed to claw his way slowly back into this game and is making a really good go of it at this point. Does he have a transition? 
I think he's just buried everything. All of his resources, his money, his attention, his focus has gone into just breaking that containment over here and eventually here and that can the uh, center of the map as well that that is everything that was his only goal his only mission in this game wow the upgrades are pretty darn good three two on both sides not that this is going to matter too much for this the protoss player but it does help it makes some of it somewhat of a difference Coming up here, he's going to need some mines, unfortunate. Unfortunate mine connections there for Bisu. Losing a few extra resources, losing a few extra Dragoons as he's trying to push up here to the top left. Eventually, he will be able to take this base, though, it looks like. HPQ's not ready to deny that. He might make a big move out as he hits that 160 supply, but I think he'll try to take the center again. I doubt he'll be able to split the map in this circumstance. Building more turrets over here. Only three tanks in this area. A group of like 10 zealots could easily break this. Reinforcements are pretty close by though. The probe did make it to the top left. And HBQ is hanging in there. Guys, this is a pretty good game. I think I'll definitely put this one out. Some of the other games were, were fun, but they weren't quite as interesting as this one. I feel like HPQ giving Bisu a run for his money is worth uh, your guys' attention. Especially since we're about to be casting a bunch more series from this guy. Pretty cool to see him taking on Bisu at the highest level. Also impressive to see Bisu's just pure and, and simple... Uh, indomitability. He's just unstoppable almost when it comes to this matchup. He just does not give up. Unbreakable Protoss player in such a weird position having his gateways killed off in his main base while he's trying to macro. And now HBQ shoving over here to the left hand side. I think he's going to get hit from both sides right now and dropped on top of this is a huge battle a little bit of a zoom out i think is necessary cut some good storms here on the vultures to get rid of the majority of them zealots are coming up here from the right hand side so most everything has been cleared on the left this vulture tank army is looking to be holding strong here against what bisu's brought forward and i think that hbq i keep wanting to say this he might have just done it there he might have just done it he's 10 supply ahead He's going to be able to maybe take out the center left. We only have a few sparse uh, reinforcements popping out for Bisu right now. And they need some time to get into position. Whereas the vultures are getting here right away. They're going to start to pick off huge amounts of probes. He's actually picking up some of his probes into his dropships. He only manages to grab four though out of all the probes that were over there. That's a little bit rough. He will be able to start to saturate top left. But HBQ, I mean, he's moving through the middle. He's cutting off the, the center of the map and potentially pushing up into the top left and cutting the map in half. He may also want to go for another CC here in the middle. Let's see if he ends up taking that. The reinforcing army of Bisu looking a little weak. Pretty small army moving through the center right now. As some shuttles over on this left-hand side, we'll be able to sneak by, get them back down to the Zealot rallies. Hopefully pick up some more units and maybe bring them to the front to dive on top of these tanks. Some more Goliaths finally being added to the mix. This is the last piece of the puddle I th puzzle, I think, that uh, HBQ is missing for this next fight. To have some anti-air to actually get rid of these shuttles. They are very pesky. Now sending a good chunk of army over here. Try and clear this. Bisu raining down hell from the high ground. Storms being utilized to slow that army down. And now is the time he actually has to pull the trigger. We're going to start to lose top left unless we break the middle. And get over there and kill that base. Or kill that uh, army. 
We cannot allow the top left base to go down. We are running out of minerals everywhere. Bisu is barely mining at this point. Aside from this base in the top left, he has almost nothing. Here we go. He's going to pull the trigger on this attack. Dropping storms on some of these Goliaths, but he doesn't have any shuttles. Oh, wait. He's got shuttles back here. He's waiting to send them in. It's time to pull the trigger. Here we go. Dropping the Zealots on top of all these tanks. Storms are in the mix as well. One more storm here going to be thrown out as that mine connects. It does not kill the Templar, but I think we've held on just enough. Even though the middle of the map has been taken over, there's still forces from HBQ able to push the top left. And as long as he holds this area, prevents Bisu from breaking him here, he's still going to have the uh, income over at the top center. And he's going to set up some income going over at this top right as well. It's hard to push up this ramp though against storms. Very, very hard. Ooh, big SCV transfer in the middle of the map is going to get caught. But a few of those do end up going down. Science vessel over here. Maybe got an EMP off during that. And it looks like HBQ is going to clear this. Now with this base going down, I think that is just about it. Beasts are going to try one last hoorah here. Try to break through this. Oh, the mine. Ooh, that didn't go off. But the Dragoons, nonetheless, getting splattered. Nothing left in these shuttles. The Templar cast their final few storms. HBQ has more reinforcements on the way, and there's just nothing coming out for Bisu any longer. He's lost every probe here in the top left. He's down to just 33. And I don't even know what they're mining off of. All of them are here at the bottom left mining off that singular patch and gg is called bisu gets taken out hbq his debut on this channel showing us a really awesome game on retro it's a pretty tough map for terran i feel this is very similar to uh fighting spirit it's like a fighting spirit remake really with a lot of difficulties pushing up onto your third base having your opponent easily accessing that ramp to come come up here and delay but i think he utilized the geom geology of the map the geometry of the map very well when pushing down here into this pocket he forced S bisu to trade really poorly into that over and over and over again and the move to the middle of the map was nice lifting off cc's and just flying out as they start to mine out i think it's great i don't think it's done nearly enough it's nice to see hbq bring in some fresh play to the terran scene looking forward to seeing more from him guys thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in the next one